We will show you how we passively harvest rainwater in our systems. We use swales. Swales are ditches on contour. So here's an example of a terrain on contour. By marking the land using A-frame levels, you can dig ditches that follow the contour of the terrain. They're just simple canals or ditches that are contoured with the landscape. This prevents water from er running or eroding the topsoil in our farm. The soil you will get from the swale or the canal you dug can be placed on the side and serve as a berm. So when it rains and the water accumulates on the canal or the swale, the berm will prevent the water from eroding the soil. The water will also slowly percolate, keeping the moisture level in the swale high. Later, we will show you swales in action by simply contouring the ditches or shaping the land on contour, you can harvest rainwater with ease. As you start harvesting rainwater using the swale, we can now plant ground cover together with our legumes and in between our fruit trees. July 30th, 2017. We just got a half inch of rain in 15 minutes. Now, that's a good monsoon rain. We had sick runoff. And I'm gonna go check the uh, swale system up here where the food is. This is a good sign. There's water flowing out of it. Right here, that's the spillway. Or the walkway. And you can see that what we've got here is a moat. So the swales, this is filled with water. And it's just running off, charging the sperm. You can hear the squash. This is filled with water too. So it worked as designed. This is a really heavy rain. <laughs> With sick runoff. So I can patch this here and send a little bit more water down this side here, which is a, a guild bed. This has things like uh, plum and Saskatoon, Ignatia, purple coneflower, snapdragon. Honey locust, Saskatoons, milkweed. We got three Nanking cherries and another plum, another Saskatoon, another uh, nitrogen fixer there, another honey locust, another Saskatoon, some salvia, some more cherries, plum, blanket flower, chickies. This is our rooster hut. Hey, roosties. So this swale worked very well, even with this catastrophic runoff. Now I got about 100 gallons here soaking in, soaking into the this, uh, shard and coriander and radish and tomato and lettuce, purple mountain spinach. We got a lot of stuff up there. Good to see the swales worked, a little too good. That uh, needs a little patchwork. But uh, thanks for watching. Like and share. Subscribe. And if you enjoy the content.